We know it's been a red hot real estate market for months, but now Nashville is actually seeing a dip in home sales. News Channel 5's Olivia Michael has a closer look at the new data and what it means for you, whether you want to buy or sell a home. Often referred to as a buyer's or a seller's market, right now in Nashville, it might be a little bit of both. That means that neither buyers or sellers have an advantage in the market. New data shows home closings are down compared to this time last year by 8%. Steve Jolly with Greater Nashville Realtors points to the rise in interest rates. They're not going to sell way over list price. Um, and, you know, it'll take a little bit longer from the time that you put your home on the market to the time it closes. But some experts say a market slowdown isn't all that bad. In fact, it might even mean a return to normal. That tells me we have a balanced market. And if buyers have an advantage, prices could go down. So we don't really want that. We don't want sellers to have the advantage either for long periods of time. Neither of those markets over a long period of time is sustainable. And while home sales have slowed, condo sales have actually increased. And I think that one of the things is there are more condos being built. So that's part of it. But two, I think part of it has to do with affordability. Despite another possible rise in rates, Jolly foresees a steady market for the rest of the year. In Nashville, Olivia Michael, News Channel 5. Thanks, Olivia. Right now, the average price for a single family home in Nashville is $495,000.